This video is going to be on Lightburn Basics. We're on Lightburn version 1.0.06. First we're going to make a couple of changes to the settings which can be found here or under Edit, Settings. So Settings, make sure it's on Snap to Grid is off. By default I think it's on but make sure that's off. And down here with the arrow, change that to 0.1 of a mil or 0.1 of a millimeter. You can make some really fine changes. Also, go into Window. Make sure you've got your Cuts and Layers set out, which is this one here. And you want to go from Wireframe Coarse to Filled Smooth. Right, Basic Shapes. First, the Pencil Tool. Left mouse click. And every time you click it, you change directions. You can close something off. It'll snap to it. We can change that from fill to line, rectangle tool, left mouse click and hold it down to drag it. If you hold down the shift key, it will do a perfect square, circle tool, drag and pull, left mouse click, shift key, perfect circle, polygon tool, Then also we've got a padlock up here, if you click on something, I'll go back to the cursor, if you click on say the ellipse there, it will change, you can just drag and change it, or you can put in measurements, I'll just change that to 200, but you can see that this also changed, if you want to change them individually between the width and the height, you need to turn the padlock off, then I could make just the, the height, I could make that 300 and the 200 will stay where it is. Right, with the line tool, I'll just delete some of this stuff. So line tool, we'll do some work with nodes. And it snaps to close. Also, you can not close something and you can finish it with the right mouse click. Now I'm going to click on this one and click on this nodes. Okay, edit nodes. Now what you can do with this is now you can move it around. You can insert new nodes by hovering over a line and pressing I for insert on the keyboard. You can delete a line by pressing D somewhere in between the nodes and that will completely, it'll completely delete. I must have been on a node. You can also just go back to the pen tool and we can reconnect those. Snap off. I'll just you go back to the node tool. That's not connected, I'm going to connect that up. Now that one's connected. And that one's connected. So to delete a node, hover over in D. To delete a line, hover over the line and press D. I'm just going to undo that one. Insert is I. Again, you can hover over a line and go S for smooth. And you have these toggles here where you can adjust it. You can also hover over a node for smooth and it will smooth the corner so it's now round and again you can adjust it. There's another shortcut where you hover over it and press C and it will give you a corner but that doesn't seem to work for me for some reason but if you hover over the line over a line or a curve I'll make that more prominent and you press L on the keyboard it will straighten the line so pretty much doing that well, I've got a corner anyway. But I'll go back to making that S for smooth, S for smooth. But I can also S that one and I've got those toggles. Either or. So the key one is the I for insert and the S for smooth whether it's the corner 
or it could just be the line. And then I can move these around as well. And D for delete. Okay. Now you can import an image. File import. And you can import JPEGs and PNGs pretty much. Now if you import something that's color, now that's a really small one, it changes it to grayscale. I'm just going to enlarge that. Go to the cursor, stretch that out, make it even bigger. Now if you go up here, this is representing a monitor, and we'll zoom on on that. Now this one's not too bad, some of them they are really pixely. What you can do is trace image, so click on it, right mouse click, and it says trace image. Now if you go fade image, then anything that is this pinky purple color is going to show up. Now you can see over here, I'm missing a few lines. I'll just go OK, I'll take that out of the way. And it's not very good. I'll do it again. You can also do it from here. Tools, trace image, fade image. Now this one here you can adjust and pick up different sections of the tone of the drawing. Nothing actually looks that great. Okay, it's a little bit better. Now the best ones to import are black and white, or dark grayscale, or silhouettes. So import. I'll just delete a few things. Now this one here, I think was a PNG with transparency, but if I was to do a laser cut this now, all of those grey bits are going to end up being laser cuts. This is a perfect example of that you need to do the image trace. Right mouse click. Let me click on it first. Right mouse click. Trace image. You can see it's not picking up any of that light grey squares from the uh, transparency. Okay. Now at the moment I'm on line, but if I click on this and make my black fill in line, now it's solid. So I'll just delete some of this. Well I can actually click on any of these and you can change the colour. And all that is is an order of engraving and you can have solid fill bits or you can make them just line, depending on uh, what you want to do. Now another thing that you can do is text, which is down here. And you can enter whatever you want. And over here you've got a live change of the text, so Arial Black. And again, go back to the cursor and it will still, that'll do the same thing. You can still change it after the fact. Click on it. We might just make this outline. So I'll go back to my blue, delete some of this other stuff. We've got some other tools. Oh, we'll just go over bullseye and align. So if you've got a couple of circles, if we select them all, and click on the bullseye, they will center. Also, these align tools will get all of these rectangles. And we've also got the key with here, but if we hold the control key, I think it is, and we click on that, it takes that away. Align to the left. Line to the center. 
align center, line at the top horizontally, bottom horizontally. So you can do lots of alignment, which is really easy. Or again, I could just click on the bullseye and they're centered. So that's a good start for the basics. Thanks for watching.